Hello Internet and welcome to CodeBig. And in this video, we will be going through what is TypeScript and the benefits of TypeScript. So, by the end of the video, you can make a decision whether or not to choose TypeScript on your next project. So, I hope you're excited and let's get started. Welcome back guys. The very first question I intend to answer is what is TypeScript? So let's head over to the TypeScript's website to know how they define TypeScript. As you can see, it says TypeScript is a JavaScript that scales and TypeScript is a typed superscript of JavaScript that compiles to plain JavaScript. And finally, it says that compiled TypeScript code runs on any browser any host and any operating system. So some of the key things to take away from what we just learned was the first one TypeScript is a superset of JavaScript which means we have JavaScript plus some additional features from TypeScript. Second TypeScript is mostly used on projects where JavaScript code scales quickly over time. We will get into the why in just a minute. Finally, we can see that TypeScript code is compiled to plain JavaScript code and it works perfectly on any browser, any host and any operating system. If you don't know already, TypeScript was developed and is maintained by Microsoft. And if they say it works on all browsers, that includes Internet Explorer as well. So. That's a win-win for both of us. Now, I hope you have a bit of idea as to what TypeScript is. Just think of it as your plain old JavaScript with some additional superpowers at your disposal that makes you write code that is easily scalable and less buggier. To better understand TypeScript, let us assume you were hired by WeSell Corporation, which sells some products to their customers. Once you join the team of developers, you start to implement some additional features and soon the website is so complex that it is hard to catch any errors. So let me just head over to my REPL where I have written out a function called calculate total price, which is one of the features that was implemented previously. If I take a look at it carefully, it has a bug. And if I run my REPL, it just returns a not a number in the console on the right. So the bug here is in the product defined down here, we have a property of unit price. And if you look at the function, we are trying to access the price property on the product. And that is the bug we need to fix. We were able to figure this out only after we ran our code and then we went through our code once to know where the bug actually was. Also, see the console, not a number is not so descriptive as to what went wrong. And this is what TypeScript intends to solve. So if we look at the same example in TypeScript, you see that we get the price in the calculate total price function marked in red telling us there is something wrong with this code. If we hover over the price, we see that it says Property price does not exist on the type I product. For now, don't worry about this interface and this type annotation that is added to the parameter of our functions. But the error message appeared at the time of our coding and it is descriptive enough for us to know what went wrong. If we look at the I product interface, we have a property of unit price, but we are trying to access a property of price and that is where our bug is. We can fix it by replacing price with unit price and I run it real quick. And we see that we get the value here on the console on the right. The next benefit of TypeScript is better developer experience and productivity. To demonstrate the next benefit, I will head over to StackBlitz and you will see we are still using the same example. I want you to see what happens when we remove the error code and type product dot and you see I get IntelliSense telling that on product I have two properties names and unit price 
and this is very helpful at the time of development it removes much of the mental stress on developers by displaying the different properties and methods of an object the final advantage i want to talk about is typescript allows you to use the latest and the greatest features of javascript out of the box what i mean is it allows you to use the latest features and convert those features implemented in typescript to javascript version that can be easily run on any browser how cool is that if we head over to the docs for the typescript version 3.7 you can also find the link to that in the description below we see a lot of es20 features listed there and if you have not yet looked into the latest features coming out in 2020 do check out my previous video on that where i go into detail on each of these concepts with that said without configuring your babel or doing any crazy setup just by using typescript version 3.7 you are able to implement the latest javascript feature i mean that is actually cool as you saw these are the main benefits of typescript but to sum up you use typescript to find bugs at development and enforce strict syntactical rules during development these are the reasons why i personally use typescript on most of my projects with that said we have reached the end of the video guys i know throughout this video you heard me tell typescript so many times and by now you might be wondering what is a type to find out more about that subscribe for my upcoming videos if you enjoyed this one make sure to leave a like see you in the next video happy coding until then